On July 15th, I will have posted the first video on this channel two years ago. So yeah, happy birthday to me. But in the two years of running this channel, there is one gigantic question that I get asked over and over again. Hawk, where can I watch Kamen Rider? And so I made a video for that question. But the second question I get asked the most is where do I start with Kamen Rider? And look, if you've watched any video on the channel, I will be the first to say I am not an expert in Kamen Rider. I have not seen every season, so I feel like I can't adequately answer this question on my own. So I went out there and asked content creators, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, cosplayers, where the best place they think to start Common Rider would be for a beginner and just to give a little premise of the season that they are talking about. All of this to do two things and that's one, let you choose yourself where you would like to start this journey, and two, just to show you a little bit of the community out there that you can join as you start your tokusatsu adventures. So without further ado, I'm gonna pass it over to them with this simple question, y'all, where should I start with Kamen Rider? So what's the best Kamen Rider for 2022? Well, you have great options like the original. I wanna highlight one that kind of fits the times of today. We live in a world where things like The Boys and Invincible get massive attention because of the grittiness that people like to see. So keeping that theme in mind, I think one you should definitely check out is Shin Kamen Rider Prologue. Not to be confused with the new film coming out next year, Shin Kamen Rider Prologue came out in 1992. The Kamen Rider in this physically transforms when his cells are mutated by an evil organization. And let me tell you, these transformations are insane. Whether it's faces being ripped off or eyeballs bulging out, you can see a lot of love went into the practical effects. At the same time, if you're someone like me who likes Toku for both the seriousness and the jokiness of it, you might enjoy the little misses they made in the editing process. Be warned there is brief nudity, so if you're trying to show your kid, maybe keep off, and the blood and gore definitely steps it up a notch as well. Overall, I think if you want to admire special effects that you kind of the vibe with the Giver, then you definitely want to check this out. It's a little weird, but it fits that grittiness I was talking about that everyone seems to like nowadays, so maybe you'll like it too. Hey, so Kamen Rider might be a little bit overwhelming to get into at first because on average, a lot of the seasons are like 50 episodes long. So instead, I want to give you something short, simple, to the point, and is pretty much what I think is the embodiment and spirit of Kamen Rider as a whole. And that movie would be Kamen Rider Zeto. One day, a man named Masaru awakens from a long slumber. The only thing he remembers is that he has to protect a boy named Hiroshi. That's it. That's the premise. The rest of the movie is nothing but a huge mystery with a lot of great action, a lot of great set pieces, and a lot of really interesting effects. To its core, Kamen Rider ZO has everything you need and not just a tokusatsu, but also Kamen Rider. The somberness, the tragedy, the drama, and even a little bit of humor. And of course, that amazing action. And the best part is that you can watch it for free on YouTube right now with English subs. So if you want to start anywhere with Kamen Rider, please watch Kamen Rider ZO. Alright, nerds. You ever get that feeling when you're looking for a TV show to watch? And realize how many fucking seasons the show has and you have no idea where to start? Because unlike The Simpsons, where everyone tells you to watch from season 3 to 10, Kamen Rider has a whole plethora of seasons and it makes your head spin. But I'll tell you this, you should start with Argato, and let me put it this way. You walk into the restaurant and let the waiter choose your meal for you, and as soon as you pay the bill and walk out like it's the best meal you ever had. Perhaps even coming back more often than you should. It has the right spices, character development is rich, Pacing is just right, nothing is an eyesore or audibly annoying, drama just hits you in the right spot that you'll love as many characters as you can fathom. It may not be as superior as its older brother, but being a Toshiki Inui show, it demonstrates how much it plans to seed very carefully into the Heisei era of Kamen Rider. Hey, I just wanted to give a brief talk about why I feel Kamen Rider Blade is one of the better seasons to start off with in the franchise. So for beginners, it's characters. I feel like Blade has some of the best characters in all of Writer. It has one of the better protagonists, and I feel like every character and every writer gets a nice little arc to develop themselves. The world building is extremely nice. The You learn a lot about the writers and what they were made for, their origin and who they're fighting. Like I feel like Blade goes a lot into its lore, and as a writer fan, I just can't get enough of it. Great music, great opening, great insert themes. Um, there's just a lot of good about Blade, so if anything, you should just give it a watch if you're new to the franchise. Yeah, it's everyone! And the Kamen Rider series, I would recommend first time as a start of this, Fishing! Kamen Rider DK!
Isn't that daunting? You can, you know, like watch part of it, part of it, part of it, and slowly complete the series. Number two, Daniel has an awesome storyline. Number three, Daniel has cute girls. Number four, Daniel has awesome characters. Yeah. Number five, <laughs> Sato Takeru. He's so hot. Okay. Trust me, he's really hot. Okay, I know it's not really a popular opinion, but if I had to pick my favorite Kamen Rider to suggest to new people, it would be Kamen Rider Decade. Now, why Decade of all writers? Well, um, I think it's an interesting series because it's a shorter series with only 31 episodes. You also get a lot more crossover movies, which feature Decade. And he's kind of not that great in the show, but he does get a lot better as he shows up throughout the future movies and future series. Uh, my other thing I like about it is that you get to see all the other previous 10 writers without any context for them, really. You only get some base information. So, uh, also there's that wonderful, wonderful movie, All Writers vs. Die Shocker. That's a lot of fun. And also the crossover, Movie Tyson 2010. That's a fun one because you also get Double in Begins Night. And then Decade kind of becomes the anniversary or movie writer. So, I say check it out, because if you don't really have any understanding for Kamen Rider, and you can make it through Kamen Rider Decade, and then go on to try something else, yeah, you're gonna have no problems. Because Decade's a mess, and if you still like it like I did, you might end up with a bunch of other stuff. I have a problem. Okay, bye! In my opinion, the only Kamen Rider that makes sense is starting with Kamen Rider W. You want a series that is clear and to the point, sucks you in with the action and comedy, and breaks your heart into tiny pieces. Oh, excuse me, and makes sense for those first time viewers about what Kamen Rider is all about, and I personally think that Kamen Rider W is the perfect Kamen Rider for this. With the backdrop of the windy city of Futo and the jazzy soundtrack that actually gets you hyped, you have the Kamen Rider of the series, a partnership of two friends, a mysterious bookworm who gets a little too into their research, and the half-boiled detective, and they combined make Kamen Rider W. You have the cool powers, the villains who have depth, comedy that hits its mark, you have yay moments and sad moments, and so, so much more. And if you, heaven forbid, happen to enjoy it and want more, there is a manga to read and soon an anime to watch. So if you want a great bromance slash duo, drama, love, comedy, betrayal, cats, and more, wow, you really want a lot, then watch Kamen Rider W. So for me, when it comes to a perfect Kamen Rider season to be your first to try out, that would be Kamen Rider Double. I love this show so much. Now, first of all, I have a big bias for it. It was my personal first Kamen Rider series that I ever saw back in 2013 at this point. It's the first season in the what is kind of known as the Neo Heisei, or more officially, the Heisei Phase 2 set of riders, which goes from Double through Geo. And it's kind of the introduction to a lot of current Kamen Rider staples. And also, it's kind of the introduction to collectible gimmicks, which, I mean, come on. <laughs> the guy memories are so much fun. These were like the first collectible gimmick we ever had for a Kamen Rider season. It's got that whole detective thing going for it, which of course is always a really cool premise. And it's about to get a sequel in the form of Futo P.I. coming this summer on Crunchyroll, the anime adaptation of the manga. And the guy memories came back like years later because they were that popular. So you know that this is the perfect show to be your first. Okay, so my suggestion for the best Kamen Rider series to start with is actually the one I started with, Kamen Rider Double. Um, if you're like me and you grew up loving Scooby-Doo, uh, Sherlock Holmes, the different kind of mystery stories, you'll feel right at home with this one. Um, it's about two detectives and the different cases they solve in their hometown. Uh, it is, um, a lot of the cases are very fun, they're very inventive, uh, it's really cool to sort of watch a lot of them unfold, uh, and then beyond that, the characters in the show are wonderful, uh, particularly our main characters, Sotaro and Philip, they're both just great protagonists, Sotaro especially, I think he's probably my favorite main writer character, uh, you really buy into their friendship and their partnership. Um, Double also has the advantage of having a lot of, like, more recent supplementary stuff, like Memory of Heroes, the video game, um, the Futo Detective anime that's coming out soon, so it's really a great great uh Kamen Rider series to get started with and you can kind of stick with that world for a little bit you know so um that's definitely my suggestion go watch Kamen Rider Double oh hey didn't see you there um or maybe I did hmm um a single season of Kamen Rider to start with I would go with personally Kamen Rider Double now Kamen Rider Double to me is is a show that tells you what you're getting into for the majority of the franchise like it shows you what you're getting into for a majority of the franchise 
a lot of elements in Double carry over to future seasons, and a lot of elements don't. But some of those elements are also callbacks to older seasons in a way. And so it gives you kind of just this perfect encapsulation of what Kamen Rider is, what it was, and what it can be, and what it's going to be. You know, the characters, the way the episodes are set up, the suits, the gimmicks. Now, Double doesn't have as crazy as gimmicks or suits as modern seasons do. But Double still has... What's the word? Double still has elements that carry over, as I've said. And it's just, it's just a detective story, right? But the detective can also transform into this armored hero and fight the bad guys. They'll also transform into the monsters. There's also another guy, so. For me, the answer is undoubtedly and undisputably Common Rider O's. I've never watched a season that so perfectly encapsulates what Common Rider actually is. The adventures of Edgy, this wanderer who doesn't know what he wants to be or where he wants to go in life and is just trying to find a way to help people, and the Jeed named Ankh, who is pretty much using Edgy at the beginning and just finds a way at every corner to show how selfish he is and edgy who will not give up on him. The season only has about three main riders, which is absolutely the perfect number, and it goes along and does a lot of tropes that you'll see throughout the rest of Common Rider. So for my money, if you dig O's, you will probably like a couple more seasons. So that's why I think it's the perfect place to start. After careful deliberation, you've come to the conclusion that the season you should start with is Common Rider Forze. Why? Here's why. It was the right season at the right time. It was the light for the people's darkness for what they were going through at that time. Good, lighthearted, fun season. And it was a 40th anniversary of Kamen Rider, which honestly, you didn't even need Kamen Rider. You, didn't, yeah. you did not need to watch 40 years of Kamen Rider. No, yeah. it was just pretty much a standalone. Almost. <laughs> uh, the characters are great. It was fun, lighthearted, man. Uh, the fun pro tag, he was fun. Pretty much a live action shonen protagonist. <laughs> made a lot of friends, even the enemies. And he has nice hair. Don't take our word for it, but we do highly suggest you try Kamen Rider Forze for fun, good characters, and kick-ass action. Space themes. And space. Hi, Tim Shields, Zaya America. I'm not exactly known for my brevity, but I'll try to keep this short. Kamen Rider Wizard is my favorite series of all time. It tells the story of Haruto Soma, a man who has suffered a psychological break after years of mounting PTSD and become possessed by a demon. He's given a device that allows him to harness the power of this demon, and chooses to use that power to fight for other people like him who have been disenfranchised by society due to the after-effects of their trauma. The series examines themes such as depression, exploitation of the lower class, the importance of legacy, and the romance of living in the moment, all while serving as a practical handbook to dialectical behavioral therapy, which has since gone on to become a standard treatment for PTSD in real life. The crossovers are kept to a minimum, and the lore is very self-contained, making it a wonderful and accessible choice for anybody who's intimidated by the idea of having to read 50 years of lore just to keep up with one season of a children's television show. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. When someone asks me what Kamen Rider show they should start off with, I usually start talking about my favorite Kamen Rider show, Kamen Rider Gaim. Because, you know, it may start a little silly, you know, with its dancing groups and fruit theme and whatnot, but it definitely involves into a high-stakes fantasy drama. This show has a beautiful aesthetic, along with a lovable cast that you can definitely find someone to relate to, along with a numerous amount of very cool power-ups, which makes you want to collect all the toys of the season. This show can be smart, philosophical, and straight up unpredictable at times. With each episode, you learn more about the mystery, and it evolves just as much as your excitement. For anybody, this is the perfect place to start. It has an amazing balance of both comedy and drama, making it very palatable for any type of audience, and just as enjoyable. Hey! Wow. My name is Kat. I'm Kat. And we are from All Ages of Geek. We do a bunch of common writer reactions. Holy crap! Oh my God. So today we're going to talk about why Build is honestly, I think Common Rider Build is the, the best, best one place to start. To start. With. Um, you know, this is just a bias to say because our audience told us when we first got into Build and Common Rider General, yeah. start with Build! And I, honestly, I feel like it does give you the whole wraparound of what a common writer yeah. 
is. I mean, from the first, like, get-go of this entire series, like, the first few episodes, it goes right into, like, hey, we're gonna transform. Hey, this is what we do with Henshin. Hey, we're making experiments. Here's our villains. Yeah. Here's our supporting cast. Here's everything. And also gives you, like, the whole, like, get-go of, like, the uh, the creatures. Yeah, I think, well. I think it's a good way to start because it is, like, on the newer end. Yeah. And with Common Rider, one thing that we noticed when we first started was it's very fast paced. Yeah. And when we were watching Build, we got used to how it was going to work in other like future Common yeah. Riders that we were going to watch. So like it's definitely a great story and some, without spoilers, something that you should definitely check out first. We've only finished, honestly, Common Rider Build, Common Rider O's, and Common Rider Gaim. But out of those three, we definitely do say it's going to have to be Build because it really does get you preferable. Also, Bento for Life. if you know Bento you know. for Life! <laughs> If we're going to talk about which season would be the best to introduce someone to Kamen Rider, the one I always go back to is Build. The story itself, whether it be the mystery behind Faust, who Sento really is, or what exactly is up with Pandora's box has enough to hook anyone in. At a splash, a political intrigue, some amazing fight scenes, and you have yourself a great season of Kamen Rider. The Kamen Rider I feel that people should start off with would be Kamen Rider Zero One for a multitude of reasons. The least of which being that it's the first of the Reiwa era, which means you don't need to know anything else about any other Kamen Rider to get started on it. It also has a very good blend of action, comedy, some more mature themes surprisingly, and it also has some the most, it's one of the most visually appealing series as well too with its bright suit, very uniform look. The toys are a lot of fun to see in action, the progress keys. And it was just very, very much a good start to this new era of Kamen Rider. So that's why I would recommend Kamen Rider Zero One to anyone trying to get into it. Plus, you could also buy official English Blu-rays of it. And I am so happy I could finally support Kamen Rider in English. What Common Rider season do I start with? That is a question and a half. Personally, I've seen like a tiny bit of Forza and Wizard, and I love them both, but there's one season in particular that I am a huge fan of, and that is what I would recommend, uh, Common Rider Zero One. Being the first Reiwa uh, season really says a lot, but most importantly, the story is, oh my god, incredible. I love it. It's amazing how you're able to go from like super serious, like Kamen Rider Time Wizards and shit and Zeal to technology dude making bad pun and being cute and funny overall. Like it's a duality of man and I'm living for it. Um, without going into spoilers, I'm just gonna say I'm living for Izu and Aruto, like just existing. Love them both. They are both. I think some of the best characters I've ever seen in TV. I love Kamen Rider, hell yeah. Thank you to everyone that participated in this video. I know it was a big ask, but you all came through fantastically. And if you're watching this video and thought, man, I really liked how that person talked, go ahead and follow them. Their names should be on their portions of the video. And uh, this is my big two year anniversary video. So shout out to all of you for watching. I could not have made it this far without you. It's insane to me. Uh, if you would have told me two years ago that we would be almost to 5,000 subscribers by now, I would have uh, told you you're crazy. But here we are, and I'm glad uh, that many of you like my brand of humor and video style. So thank you very much, and I will see you next time. <laughs>